Good morning, ma. So, Subeda. So, yes, first, you introduce about yourself. Thank you, sir, for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Subeda. I am the expert from Andhra Pradesh, Karpa District, but currently staying in Hyderabad. I completed my graduation in the stream of Bhutan Computers in the year of 2022 in YV University with an aggregate percentage of 9.5. And my technical skills are, I am good in Python, along with an Android, Django, HTML, and SQL. And my soft skills are, I have good command and communication and leadership qualities. Uh, my family includes of five members, including me. And my hobbies are uh, uh, listening music. And uh, I am very uh, enthusiastic to get in service with nature. My goal is to get in a place in the IT sector. Good reputed company, and my long term goal is uh, uh, I want to become within five years as project manager. That's it about this. Okay, that is good. So, you have knowledge in SQL also, right? Yes, you know, SQL, great SQL. It's a summer one. Yeah, okay, very good. So, what else you know is you have again? I have a HTML and uh, CSS. CSS, CSS and Python. Okay. So anyway, let us uh, discuss something on HTML, okay? So tell me, uh, what is the main difference between HTML and CSS? HTML nothing but sir, you can write basic program on HTML, you can create basic structures in HTML. In CSS, you can give some styles and effects. That is a major difference. What is the full form of CSS? CSS the full form is a cascading style sheet, sir. Cascading style. In the year of 1996, Okay, which version of the CSS is running presently? Is it CSS 2, sir? CSS 3 it is. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Basically, you are going So, CSS. what do you mean by HTML? What is HTML? HTML is a hypertext markup language, sir. In the year of uh, 1993, it is developed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is the tag in HTML? HTML, there are... Uh, we have to first write a program, we have to use HTML tag. After we have to write title, uh, head and title and body. Uh, what basics we have writing tags, but we can must and should close with the HTML tag. Sir. Okay, do you know types in the tags? Like, yes, sir. Do you know what you mean by container tag? Container tag means uh, uh, without closing, we have to write an open tag, but we cannot close it. Without closing also it will run. For example, break tag sir, mm -hmm. we can use open break tag, but we should not give close tag for break tag. And how, tag. how to make comments in HTML can do this? With the uh, explanatory mark, we can uh, comment sir. What we have to write in a comment tag with explanatory mark, uh, it should not display in when you, you open in web page. Mm -hmm. With the help of your writing, first we have to uh, give explanatory mark for comment tag. We have to test it. When we open in a web page, in that time it cannot display. Okay. So, how to make multiple comments? Multiple commands. Uh, if we want to comment out multiple lines at a time, then how to do in HTML? Or test in this, huh? We can use test box also, sir, for multiple For comments. example, uh, let me say I have written five lines. Okay. I want to Con convert those five lines into a comment. Then how to do that? Paragraph also we can. Uh, for so example, you are in a paragraph. I want to comment it out. I want to mention my paragraph as a comment. How to do that? Today, when we are starting a paragraph, we have to write in that way. We have to give comment box, comment mm -hmm. Then we can comment also. Okay. So tell me how to execute a HTML file. First, we have to open a Notepad or Sublime Test or VS Code, sir. And then we have to write a program. Uh, after that, we have to save with the dot HTML extension. Sir. Without dot HTML, it cannot run. Okay. After we have to open a web browser or Chrome in the internet. In the browsers, we have to open. Then the what we have written in a program, it will display on the internet browser. Okay. See, sir, you are telling that some options are the sublime text and something people write. Right. Yes. Sir. So which one you prefer? Sublime text. Why? We can easily write sublime, te sublime in this uh, any format. We can write a program 
then it is shows us if we are if we forget if you write an html tag if we forget html close tag it represents okay so hmm, what do you mean by selectors selectors means there are five types of selectors sir. we can define with the uh, tag name also and uh, uh, id and class and universal selector and grouping selector sir. Okay. these are five types with the help of we we can give uh, it is mainly used in invite as well if you give tag name it specify the color of which we have written background color or color size it display only for uh, tag name if you given for example h1 tag it shows where h1 tags are represented in the we have written that h1 tag only it represents sir. without h1 it did not display if we give an id we have to mention should give the id name sir for example if you give an id is equal to banu then we have to represent as banu is equal to we have to give first dot banu sir for id if we give a dot id it did not it is not display so like you know you have css right yes, so sir. in how many ways we can write a css code can you tell me how many ways there are three ways sir mm -hmm. uh, external internal and inline sir okay. external when we have writing code we have to first write basic code on html then we have to uh, it written dot html then we have to write css code sir in a, another file then we, in that css we can give in the background color what we have to want effects we have writing in css we have to give dot css when we are coming to html we have to give the path of css sir okay. then you should okay. and right. uh, mm, so i would like to ask you with you some smart task can you do that yes sir right. Just take care. Mark it. Right. So, uh, just uh, I am asking you to write a code, uh, you know, to create an application, application form. Application form. First, we have to start with HTML tag, sir. In HTML, there is no case sensitive, sir. We can write up with a small alphabets or capital alphabets. That is fine. Yeah. Then we have to give head. What we have in your testing title, then it represent on web page title also. Okay.
application form first to username and password sir yeah, the input type is we have to write in a test and then uh, we have to write your name in the username function then we have to give maximum length of 20 it takes less than 20 also more than 20 it does not take same as password also sir okay. what if i want to give more than 20 sir if I want to give more than 20, then you have to increase here, sir. Increase. Can I give 200 here? Sir. Can I give 200? It does not take that much of. So what is the maximum limit? Maximum limit is uh, 20, sir. 20. Okay. If I, for example, I say in place of length, in place of 20, if I put 200, whether that will be executed or not? No, sir. It does not be executed. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Fine. You can stop. Yeah, so tell me how many ways we can view different colors in a CSS. Sir, we can view different colors as with the color game, sir. Mm -hmm. And RGB color, sir. RGB color is red, green, something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, in this RGB color, we have to range uh, from uh, 250, sir. We start from 0 to FF, sir. Okay. And then we have given RGB uh, with alpha, sir. Okay. Alpha is nothing but we have given 0 to 0 to 1.0, sir. It gives some different, it gives the colors like different things, sir. And we can give with the uh, symbol of hash, we can give the RGB number also, sir. With the symbol of hash, we can give RGB 00, R has 00, G has uh, mm -hmm. some numbers or alphabets, sir. Okay. What do you mean by text area? Text area means, uh, uh, for example, we have written our application form, sir. In that, we can upload resume. After that, we want to give a HR some introduction about ourselves. With the help of text area, we can write some details of about us, sir. Multiple lines we can write. So, thank you, Subera. We will get back to you in short. Okay? Thank you, sir. Right. Good luck.